this week on Battle Smash reviews pedals. The guys, we're gonna review. Uh, we're gonna review the Boss Chorus Ensemble. Stick with us. Good evening. Welcome to the next episode of Battle Smash reviews guitar pedals. I'm here, and I'm Dick Dickerson, and he's here, and he's Dr. Battle Smash. I'd like to welcome us to you. Yeah. As you saw from the intro, we are reviewing the Chorus Ensemble from Boss, the CE5, uh, for you tech heads out there. Um, I've been excited for this one. Yeah, I was too. Actually, immediately when I got it, I put it onto my secondary pedal board, the one that I, that I rarely ever use. Yeah, um, I, I actually was excited because uh, I heard Slash uses this uh, course pedal and uh, interesting bit of trivia. Yeah, and uh, I, I I was really looking forward to it because I'm a big fan of Slash. Cool. I'll have to look up this Slash fellow um, mm. later. On really? The yeah. I can tell you about him. Okay, we'll have a conversation about mm. Slash later. So, anyways, you let's make you make it seem like he's made up or something. It's kind of a weird. It's kind of a weird fucking name, in my yeah. opinion. I don't know. Like, is, I know it's weird, but is he's it like, a guy. It's like the cartoon. Like, if they're we like, digress. Anyways, here okay. we go. All right. So this is uh, my my uh, tone without the boss uh, chorus ensemble on. That's pretty jangling. I like it. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, not bad. It's got got some body to it. Yeah. Let's uh let's try let's crank that on though. And all of the uh knobs on this sucker are roughly twelve o'clock when I play this timeless song right now. Oh yeah, I know that one. I know that one. Skip to the next part. <laughs> Yeah. This one was done by Pantera on their follow-up record to Vulgar Display of Power, Far Beyond Driven, the lead track. Very good. Very, very good, good ear. Track. This guy's got an incredible yes, ear. Incredible ear. Um, I have tried very many years in order to... Oh, right. man, listen to the lush... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, the pedal's not on. Listen to this lush... Beautiful. I mean, yeah, it does sound very good. And I think really what happens here is there's a lot of like a lot of feeling coming out through the player, and also the the sound that's coming back from the instrument uh, really it vibrates well. It does. It, it really does, does vibrate. vibrate. As soon as well. I activated the pedal, my whole guitar just kind of. That's why Kurt Cobain was always playing like. <laughs> He did play like that. I heard because he, he was actually he wasn't using this pedal. Sorry, that no, was uh, that, that's actually it was Slash that used this. It pedal. still does it that Slash. though. It still creates that feeling though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, Let's take this pedal to the max and see where it goes. We're going up all the way on the uh, on the balance here. Let's see what we. are Very lush. Very lush. And uh, I really yeah. think it's... Oh, I didn't, yeah. yeah basically. They used our studio. Anyways, this has been the Boss Course Pedal Review. What's it called? CE5 for you. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh, thank we, you for give giving it? it to Pantera to write Come As You Are. We need to do the review, though. What do, What do you give it? Out of, uh, uh, let's I give it out of five. Let's do this. I think no, because it's a Pantera a pedal, let's... we're probably looking at like a five out of five here for me. Sweet. What if we made it a ten, though? Because last time we did it out of five. So uh, if it was out of ten and it was five out of... What'd you say? Five out of five? Five out of five. If it was ten, it would be... if it was out of ten, I would say 6.2. Very good. I'll, yeah. I'll agree with that since we're doing it out of 10. If we were giving it out of 5, I would have started 2, though. Because it sucks. All right. Thanks, boss. Anyways, I'd just also like to take a minute just to say that maybe most of these people here haven't heard, but uh, uh, we really uh, enjoy you coming out here and talking about pedals, and this is what we do, and we really would really appreciate if we could still do it again in the future and uh so leave us a email transfer at the bottom 
that address there uh, and donate to the cause so we can uh, kind of, you know, get this show and keep it going. Yeah. Uh, you want to see good content like this, right? Of course. Give us the money then. At that email address. Somewhere there. Put some sparkles on the email address if you can. Thanks. Cheers. Whatever you tech heads. I've been really excited for this one, Dick. Uh, Slash has played this pedal since he started with Guns N' Roses in the 80s. And they were good buds of us. And I remember him playing this pedal a lot in the club scene in L.A. back in 1985. Sweet. I'll have to look up this Slash guy that you mentioned. You guys hung out all the time. Um, I will say, it's a, it's an unneeded, weird beat, uh, just to show that you're better than everybody else. Yep, it was an interesting... I mean, it's not unlike our own uh, stance towards music. But... Yeah, but we actually pull it off. Mm -hmm. uh, check it out, Battle Smash, the it's Art of the Epic Fumble. It's got to be cleaner than that, boys. Also, check out Clean Honesty. And uh, this next one is uh, Black Coffee Blues, which we hope is not going to be so blue. Wait, before you start it, let me just get this on there better. I can. It's that bad. Eh? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> let's uh, let's open up with just my dry tone. It'll sound a little bit like this, fellas. <laughs> that's that's just no pedal. That's what it sounds like. Now we're going to activate the all-powerful CE5. The course pedal. <coughs> the boss. Thank you for sending this to us, by the way, boss. We'll uh, send you back a gift basket. It's exactly what yeah. it was, kitties. And you know what? I remember when I was a very young lad in school, the first time that I ever had a Pantera record in my hand was in 1991, and they put out this crazy album, and it had a picture of a baby with his penis hanging out, and... And uh, uh, I really enjoyed that record and Pantera for life. Anyways, what would you give this pedal? Oh, wait, let's take it to the limit. What am I thinking? <laughs> let's take it to the limit. Let's we're push her all to 10. We're going to crank her to 10, everybody out there. Everything. Get Di ready. Diamond out, as they would say. Get ready for Diamond out. Absolute madness. Did you, did you get what I did there? Diamond out. Yes, because that's the guitarist from... And Tara. Food yeah. Fighters. Yeah, right, Food right, Fighters. Right, right. Fighters. Right. It was a good joke. She was an American girl. Oh, yeah. All right. Make it easy, baby. Never dance or dance all night. That's that song, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, Struggled with the ending. No she way. was. But it's right there. An American girl, so sexy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Lenny Kravitz, everybody. Yep, that was good. That was good too. It I, was. I, I, I thought Lenny did a great job with it. I don't like how he didn't put you on the writing credits, though. I know. We, we should have definitely charged for our facilitation. He's, it's not gonna be like those other pedal reviews where they ice, they take the pedal off the pedal board and they isolate the pedal. <laughs> Damn it, Red! Damn it! What the fuck, man? <laughs> it's so hard to not laugh at it. <laughs>